Hey everybody, my name is Michael Yu. I'm a fourth year dental student at Western University in Pomona, California. And I wanted to start this video off by saying, sorry for the lack of videos. It's been crazy busy with uh, fourth year starting, my externship up in Bakersfield, California, and just a lot of life things that have been happening um, over these past few months. But nevertheless, want to hop on here, congratulate all the incoming D1s for starting dental school. It's exciting. Uh, but there are some things that you should prepare yourself for in order to make these next few years as easy as possible. I'm sure there are a lot more tips than the five that I'm going to lay out here in this video. So if you can think of any, please comment below and share that with the dental community. So in this video are my five tips for what you should do before dental school. Let's get right into it. The first tip here is getting your health in order. Now, this comes from a personal experience of someone very close to me, my girlfriend. She found cancer right before the start of medical school. And I know this is a video for dental students, but any professional program, it's gonna be very rigorous and it's gonna be hard to take time for yourself in order to go in and get a checkup, as sad as that sounds. But luckily for her, she went in for a physical, got a baseline of where her health was at. And luckily for us, we found that, got it removed. And it would have been crazy to try and get that done during medical school. So take a lesson from that experience, get a health checkup, make sure you're in good standing to start a rigorous program like dental school. The second tip you're gonna hear everywhere, but it's incredibly important, it's figure out how you cope with stress. Uh, I've had a lot of colleagues in other programs and even my own drop out, fail or do something incredibly stupid because they didn't know how to cope with stress. For that matter, figure out what you're gonna do when you do feel anxious or when you do feel stressed out, whether it be reading, whether it be running, whatever it is, it's incredibly important because when we talk about holistic health, we're also talking about mental health as well. Number three is talking to your family about expectations and the sacrifices you're both gonna have to make during these next few years. My program was nice enough to do this for us at our white coat ceremony because you gotta realize these next few years, it's not a journey that you're taking alone. You're taking that alongside your, the, the loved ones, the friends, families, the significant others. And there's gonna be a lot of sacrifices, whether that be time or events that you're gonna have to miss out on. It's gonna be incredibly important that your family understands that when you say, sorry, I can't make it, I have to study, they understand that rather than resenting you because it's gonna happen so many times throughout the years. I've seen a lot of arguments come from this and the best way to avoid it is to preemptively talk about it. Number four is gather teeth. This is specifically to dental school, but it is a problem that a lot of D1s face when coming into school. Whether it be the area that the D1s coming from is oversaturated with incoming students, they're just unable to find an office that can provide them teeth. One thing I've realized that incoming students could do is they could contact a D3 or D4, the school that they're going to, and they extract a lot of teeth. They can save a lot of teeth for you, especially if they're on externship, which is something I did for D1 this past year as well. And it's a little creepy, but there are ways to do it. Number five is learn Spanish. Uh, it's incredibly important if you live in California or really anywhere in the United States. There are a lot of Spanish speaking patients and it's important for you to connect with them on a deeper level. And let me say, treating Spanish speaking patients has been one of the most rewarding experiences in my dental school education because you're able to cross that language barrier and also connect with them at a deeper level. Also, they understand that you're trying to tear down that wall, which is incredibly important for something you'll come to learn as a rapport. You have two years before the start of clinic typically, so download Duolingo and start learning Spanish before you start clinic. Extremely important. This is probably one of the top tips that it can give to anybody. So there you go, those are my five tips. Uh, don't bother on studying anything before the start of dental school. You're most likely gonna forget it or be taught it a different way. This time before dental school should be reserved for you and your family and just getting your life in order to tackle on this journey. If you're a dental student watching this and you have some tips for the incoming D1s, please comment below, share it with the dental community. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you feel like this video helped, please consider subscribing and leaving a like or sharing it with someone else you think that it might help as well. Thank you as always. I hope to see you soon. I promise I'll make some more videos. Have a great day.